All right, so uh, welcome everyone. We have a, a great interview today. Aisha is with us, and hello, hi. Hi, so nice to finally talk to you. Nice meeting you too. And so um, what I wanna do is I wanted to, I saw you before and after, and I was very impressed, and I wanted to get to know um, your story and what happened before and then after. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself as far as your you know, weight or health in the past? Yeah, so I've always struggled with weight. I remember being in kindergarten and, you know, being teased for having like a belly or chubby legs. I was always like the chubby kid in school, always. So I was always bullied and, but, and, you know, eventually as I grew older, I became a teenager and adult. I was always rapidly gaining weight and I wasn't really losing any. So I didn't know why, what was the reason? Why am I gaining weight? So because I was eating the same meals, my friends were the same stuff my siblings were eating. So why is it that I was gaining weight? So just recently I found out that um, I have something called insulin resistance. So that's why, you know, I was putting on so much weight and I've done everything. I've done crash diets. I've been on extreme weight loss programs. Um, they like help temporarily. I lose like about four to five kgs. And then as soon as I stop, I gain it all back. It feels like I gain it overnight. And uh, what? where do you live? Are you in India? No, I'm in Karachi, Pakistan. And what's the food like over there? Is it really healthy and all really low carb? <clears throat> no, 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 no. No, <laughs> no it's, uh, it's very high carb. A lot of meat, lots of naans and rotis. It's not healthy at all. People are becoming health conscious, but we don't really have access to good quality food like vegetables and fruits and it's cheaper to eat like flour rice and pasta so yeah so rice is rice is really big there right yeah rice and also uh flour flour wheat flour wow yeah. it's no wonder you had struggles are, are there people too gaining weight as well oh yes 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 like in pakistan diabetes is like the number one killer like diabetes, everybody is diabetic. Like everyone I know, their families, like their grandparents are di diabetic, their parents are diabetic. I'm pre-diabetic, my doctors have told me. But that's the thing, you know, because it's of, because of our diet. Wow, question, um, your grandparents um, growing up in Pakistan, was there a problem back then, uh, let's say, you know, 70 years ago? I think maybe not as much, but yes, I think the diet, then was to, but maybe they just had smaller quantities because like my grandparents have always told me that we were from like poor backgrounds and we didn't have a lot to eat. So maybe they ate less, but it was, I think, generally the same food. Interesting. And then the other question I had was, um, has like GMO foods gotten into Pakistan yet? Are they growing genetically modified foods there now? Yes. Like we have, I, I see a lot of videos on Facebook as well, you know, not just like we see, I see like pictures of uh, berries being dyed and we have uh, watermelons that are being spray painted with cans and like we <laughs> that's that's the concern you know I keep seeing all this like I, I try to eat healthy but then I don't I'm not sure if my like even if my salads are you know dipped in dye because that's what I'm seeing on social media so so even if I'm eating healthy I don't really know if I'm eating healthy oh my gosh so here you are, you're going along, struggling with your weight, and then at what point did you hit your worst weight where you're like, okay, that's it, I can't get any bigger? Oh, that was two, two years ago, I think, two, one and a half, two years ago. Yeah, I was like, I was really, really overweight. And then I tried, you know, I went on an extreme uh, weight loss program, it's called the 42 Day Challenge here in Pakistan, and I lost about four kgs, and it was like uh, a month and a half long, and I only lost like four kgs but that's also because the diet you know I, I have insulin resistance and they ask you to eat sweet potatoes and have one apple have a smoothie and it just did not suit me it didn't work for me and I always knew that you know this is there's something wrong you know this there must be something else for me and then um, in December last year um, I was um, I had to attend a wedding my one of my closest friends was getting married and I wanted to look fit and I tried losing weight. I did lose some weight. I lost like five kgs and you know, I lost a lot of inches around my waist. And I looked good for a few days, but once the wedding was over, <laughs> I gained it all back. And then I think I was on YouTube just um, like, just searching about insulin resistance and what it really is because I just didn't really know what it was. 
And then I came across one of your videos about carbs and insulin resistance. It was just like two or three minutes long. I was like, okay, the rest, all the other videos are like 45 minutes long. I can't watch those. So I started watching your videos and I loved it. And I watched all of them in one go. And then it was like, you know, it just clicked when I saw that video on insulin resistance and how you're supposed to eat less frequently uh, or else you spike your uh, insulin. And then I was like, okay, this makes so much sense. Maybe, you know, um, I was eating healthy before when I was doing those diets, but I was eating like five, six, seven times a day. So even if it was just salads and grilled fish, I was still, you know, gaining a lot of weight. So I was like, it just made sense. It was like, your videos are like um, pieces of jigsaw puzzle. You know, they all fit. And I was like, okay, it's something in me just, there was just like a light bulb went off. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna have to try this. I know it's going to work this time. So, and yeah, ever since it's been seven months now, but I'm not gonna count this one because I'm Muslim and it's a month of Ramadan. So I have to eat two meals a day or else I was just eating one meal a day. And so in December, I just, the first thing I did was, um, I got rid of all sugar. I, I just was like, I'm not gonna have any sugar. I got rid of all the five, um, the white carbs no rice, no potatoes, no nothing. And I started losing a lot of weight. So the first five kgs I lost, it felt like I lost them overnight, but I was like, no, you know, um, I've done this before. I've lost the four kgs, I'll gain it back. But then I was like very consistent. Consistency was key for me. I was very patient and consistent. And I, st I started noticing that um, I started, I was still losing weight. And before I knew it, I had lost 10 kgs. And I think I was like, I lost most weight by March, mid-March, um, beginning of April. I was the slimmest and then I went on vacation. <laughs> I went on vacation to visit my family and I was, at that time I started having like, I was already having one meal a day, but you know, we, I went there and there were like house parties and we were going out and I was eating stuff. <laughs> so. What weight did you start at and what weight did you end up at at your lowest? Um, my uh, highest weight was 102 kgs. And I think it was 100 and, uh, and pounds. I'm not sure because we really just, we don't use I think it's 2.2 2 pounds. Okay, that's fine. And then how many? How much is that? Uh, I'll have to use my calculator. I'm terrible at math. Um, so then at the your lowest weight, how many kgs? Right now, uh, my lowest was uh, 90 kgs. 90, okay, good. Yeah. So right now I'm 91.3. I just checked, but that's because I've been eating a lot of fruit. For six months, I had no fruit, nothing, not even a bite of fruit except the occasional smoothie berry we make at home. But other than that, I had no app because um, once I heard you say that uh, that an apple has 19 grams of sugar, I, 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 that was like, I was just so shocked and I stopped eating fruit. And people look at me like I'm crazy. <laughs> but yeah, but it helped. So when you ate one meal a day, what did you eat? Um, I usually eat like, five to six eggs, I eat like a big omelet. I put an entire capsicum in, a, in the, to, lots of tomatoes and um, onions. And I put, throw in some like turmeric and salt and pepper and red chili. And I just, you know, make like a giant omelet. And I eat that, so it's, it's like a breakfast, but not really, I eat around, I eat around, let's say around 12, 30, one o'clock, but I'm starting to like, I'm going to start eating after Ramadan ends, I'm gonna eat around three so that I can like, you know, go longer. Like, because around, sometimes I sleep late and then I'm like, I start getting hungry. <laughs> so I don't want that. Even though I have like coconut oil and all of that, I have it regularly. Did you uh, find that you had to gr uh, gradually go into eating one meal a day? Did you still like two and then eventually one and then you were good? Yes, so in December I started, uh, right uh, from the beginning of December, I started with three meals a day. Um, and then I came down to two meals a day quite quickly, like not even a month. Yeah, it was it was so easy. And I started having two meals a day. And then in March, I switched to one meal a day. But I still feel like the two meals a day was the best. I felt like most energetic. I, I just loved it. And then the one meal a day was maybe it was psychological. I was thinking, oh, that's too crazy. One meal a day, I'm not going to survive, but I'm I'm still alive. So. I think the one meal a day is fine until I reach my goal weight. Sometimes, occasionally, I have two meals. When you know, if I'm uh, like, if I'm doing too many chores, or I'm going out, so I feel like I need to have two meals. Only then I have two meals. Or else I just have one, and not, and I don't get hungry. My skin is glowing always. So yeah, my skin has completely transformed. Like 
That's fascinating because when you, when you drop insulin, you improve androgens, which then get rid of acne, especially for women. Their polycystic ovarian syndrome thing clears up if you had that. But here's the other, here's the other, there's two, you had that too. <laughs> there's, there's two points I want to make. Number one, um, egg pretty much has almost every single nutrient, almost. So it's very balanced. So you could actually do very well on eggs. Um, also, um, the people that I recommend one meal a day is, are those people who either really need to lose a lot of weight, you know, and they want to lose it in the fastest way possible, and then are those people who maybe have thyroid issues and have no metabolism left because they destroyed it through dieting over the years and they're maybe menopausal, you know, they need like one meal a day. And I have bodybuilders that are eating one meal a day and they, they are fine, but the problem is trying to get uh, all your nutrients in that one meal. It's a lot of food to consume so you have to eat such quality um and some people they do they do intermittent fasting with junk food and i'm like no you don't want to do that because you may lose weight but you're you're going to be unhealthy because you're just putting garbage in your body so um so tell me um so you would do eggs and you do spices and tomatoes and curry and salads big big bowls of salads you recommend 10 cups, I think I have more than that because I'm also eating the omelette and then I'm having like a big salad and that fills me up. Sometimes I make a big like chickpea salad. I love chickpea salad, so I have that. I have lots of um, wheatgrass juice. Yeah, it fills me up. I don't need food after that. I, I don't crave like, you know, sugary snacks. I used to crave a lot of chips. Um, this time last year, I was having like, I was having snacks regularly. You know, I would hang out with my friends and watch TV shows and we'd have like popcorn and chips and it was like a regular thing. And then I had like breakouts and it was just terrible and hair loss. I don't have a lot of hair loss now, but I was always struggling with hair loss. Also, I was, I always uh, had a digestive problem. And like for like a couple of years, I was always just constantly constipated. This sounds disgusting. Yeah, but I was, every single day I was just, I just had such terrible, constipation <laughs> it's so nasty but yeah so i yeah so i just started having a lot of lemon juice as well and a lot of apple cider vinegar and that really helped that was like instant remedy yeah because that's going to improve your digestion and then what about um your energy level is that improved yes my energy level also my memory i have such terrible memory i still do but i had like such horrible memory, especially in college. I remember, I wouldn't even remember what I had for breakfast that morning or what I was wearing yesterday or what I got for homework. So my memory has really improved, but I still need to improve it. So yeah, I'm almost halfway there. I still need to lose about 20 more kgs, I think. Okay. Well, you, you know, over time, it's going to, you're doing intermittent fasting with keto is going to actually regenerate brain cells. It's going to actually help um, but it does take some time to really, you know, completely change over. People always want, want it like, oh yeah, in six months I'm going to, yeah, but it takes longer. And then, um, I was going to ask you, um, do, when people look at you now, um, probably kind of strange, like, why aren't you eating all this? And they're probably pushing all this food with parties and events, right? So how do you yeah. do, how do you deal with that? People look at me like I'm crazy, you know, they look at me and they're like, wow, you've lost so much weight because, you know, I, I never really lost any weight. Now, all of a sudden, I'm losing weight. So, and they're like, what, what, what do you have? What's your meal plan? And what, what diet are you following? I'm like, it's not a diet, it's a lifestyle. And when I tell them what I'm eating and how I'm eating it, they're like, they look at me like I'm crazy. They give me like such dirty looks like, you're crazy, you're going to collapse one day, this is so unhealthy, and what are you doing to yourself? You're going to get like this disease and your bones are going to get weak and blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, look at me. I'm, this is the like the healthiest I've been in years. I remember being 11 and 12 and not like fitting into any jeans, not being able to find clothes. Yeah. So yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm proof that it's okay. They're like, oh, one day you're going to like collapse. Yeah. I'm going to give you a little tip because I run into that all the time. Okay. So here's a little tip, especially with family. Um, Never tell them what you're doing. Um, have them go to a video because they have to get the why first. They have to get the why you're doing it and explain a little bit of why versus the, hey, just do this because it doesn't seem to be as impactful uh, because they don't understand it and it flies against their fixed ideas and so it's just they're going to reject it and 
I've done it, I mean, so many times. Also, sometimes um, I feel like when, you know, I'm telling somebody, I mean, they're asking to show interest, and then when I tell them, um, it, it feels like it's sad because I feel like they don't want to listen. It's, it's not like they know that carbs aren't good for you and sugar isn't good for you, but it's like they just don't want to listen. They don't want to stop eating. And it's sad. Like, it hurts me now. Yeah, I know. And I think, because uh, uh, I run into that as well, I'll, I'll do something like this. I'll say, well, do you want to know what I did? Uh, if I, you know, of course, if I told you, they have to kill you. So I just kind of play with them back and forth. And I'll say, well, I tell you what, I will let you know in about a week from now. So just call me. Like, I'll kind of push them away get him to reach a little more, and then I'll, I'll send him to a video. Um, but because here's the thing, um, you have all these people that are not ready to change. They almost have to hit bottom, just like you did, like I did. I had to be really sick before I actually said, okay, that's it. I'm willing to do whatever it takes, you know? So with those people, they might want to know. I wouldn't actually tell them. I would just say, well, go watch this video. And that way they can be a little bit more enlightened. Um, but I do know what you're running up against. It's like frustrating. You want to help everyone, but some people aren't, don't want your help. So it's yeah. kind of crazy. We go out and eat, you know, it's like we're going out with friends and I always eat like with a fork. Like I, I eat barbecue with a fork and everybody's having like this delicious like naans and they, then they, everyone goes like, who wants dessert? And I'm like, <laughs> I really want it, but I'm not going to eat it. And it's actually, I don't let allow myself to think. As soon as the question is asked, do you want dessert? I'm like, no. And sometimes I even surprise myself. I'm like, okay, uh, I just said that so quickly, but I always say no before I say yes. That helps. Yeah, because I think that's your biggest challenge, especially in India or Pakistan, is like people around you, dealing with all the people around you, uh, with the food and oh my gosh, it's just such, a, it's part of the culture. Like, what? You don't want rice? Are you insane? And potatoes? I mean, like, no, thank you. <laughs> so I know I I feel your pain. So, um, well, this has been awesome. So you've done really well. I've seen the before and after. So we're we're, we're posting them throughout this interview. So it's quite amazing. Um, but anyway, I want to thank you for your story. It's going to inspire a lot of people. And uh, uh, maybe we'll do like a little follow up in several months to see. You know, when you hit your ultimate goal, we'll just kind of do a little post video interview. Thank you so much for your videos. I'm so grateful. Seriously, it's such a motivation to watch your videos. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you. Okay, have a great afternoon. Goodbye.